What is going on guys? A few weeks ago I made this out of pewter using kinetic sand in an open pour flask. So today I'm going to be making some replicas of this with aluminum in these flasks here using green sand. Now they do just barely fit this one better than this one, but I think it will work. So hang tight and check it out. So before I start making the molds, I'm going to fire this electric furnace up by Cast Mastery Light. Unfortunately, they no longer make electric furnaces, so if you see this video and want an electric furnace for yourself, you'll have to find another brand. But I loaded this up with aluminum, and I'm just going to wait for it to get up to temperature. And I'm going to go to the bench and make the molding flasks. All right, so using the smaller flask, I had some breakout right on the bottom. So I'm still going to try it, but the aluminum might seep out and it might not work, but I'm still going to give it a shot. And right about now, the aluminum is ready. So I have two of these done and I'm going to pour these and see how they come out. Well guys, um, that one might not have worked. Um, you could see a little bit of shrinkage in the middle. It might have, we'll find out in a little bit. And uh, this one didn't leak out like I thought it did. So we'll let these set and uh, while these are sitting, I'll make, I'll make another two sand molds. All right guys, here we go. We are gonna open these up and we're gonna see how they came out. I think they both came out good, um, but uh, this is uh, this is where we're gonna find out. That's for sure. All right, let's do let's do this one first. This is the one that fell short. Oh, that looks like a like a full cast to me. That is sweet. Let's see how the other side looks. Who cares about the back? Hey, look at that. Looks just like the original. Yes, sir. Not too bad. All right, let's check out the other one. If that one came out, I would definitely think the other one came out. I don't understand why it's always the back side comes out first. So you can see this is the one that had the leakage because the sand broke. Um, so it just has to, means I have to do a lot more filing. That's really in there, isn't it? There we go. There we go. All right. We got another good big footprint, guys. Yes, sir. I got two more sand molds ready to go. Stay tuned.
All right, so while I wait for these to cool off, I'm gonna take these to the vise and file off all this slag off the side of it, whatever you wanna call it, the breakthrough. Um, I should also mention, I made those different. I made these two different than I made these. So when I made these, I put them on the flat surface first. Well, with these, I put them facing down and then I, then I carved around the edges to reduce the break out of the sand. Um, so I think those are going to come out better. So let's, uh, let's bring this to the vise and start filing this down. All right, so I just got done filing this one, right? Everything's all done. Now, if you look at the back, you can see the line right there. And the reason you see that line is because this was an open pour mold. So the back curves. If we can focus in here. The back curves. So the better way to do it is like this. So on this one, like I said, I put it I put it on a flat surface and then compacted it. But the better way to do it is to put the face on a flat surface and then just carve out a little line around it. Um, and you'll see that here when I take this apart. You'll see what I mean. So let's get right to it. So I hope these are going to be better than that one. I hope I would have a lot less cleanup. But we will find out right now. Well, look at that. It looks like there's a lot, a lot less cleanup. Um, but do you see it right there, how I have that ridge around it? Let me get uh, some pliers here. So that's like a perfect cast, except for a little bit right there and a little here. That's that's like a perfect cast. And now, like I said, I actually, if you can see it here, I carved out this glove off. So when I had the pattern in there, I just carved out a ridge on the outside to take away that impression or depression. So now I have an exact replica of this. So this one as well, is going to have the same curve on the back like this one. See how it's curved? It's not flat. It doesn't have a flat back like this. It's an exact replica of this. Cool. All right, so let's try the other one. And uh, so far so good. They're all working out pretty good. So let's hope for the best on this one. And yep, this one came out just as good. And I, I carved a little vent right here because I didn't vent the first two. Um, so I vented these. So that's it guys, these are all done. So let me just clean them all up and I'll get back to you shortly. All right guys, here they are all cleaned up, all four of them. And look how beautiful they are. So the first two, are the ones that have the rounded back, just like the original pattern. And these two are the ones that have the line, which means there is actually draft on the side now. So I'm actually gonna make more using this because I'd rather have a flat back than a rounded back. Um, so I'm gonna use this to make more um, Copper. I'm going to make copper ones uh, probably next. So I'll probably use this pattern making the copper ones. Um, I might I might make them with this one too, but I, I think I like this one better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, do you like the one with the rounded back or the flat back? Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.